we'll be looking at how to convert decimal fractions from other bases to base 10. Welcome to Easy Method Circuit. From our previous videos, we have looked at how to convert numbers from base 10 to other bases using continuous division method. We have looked at how to convert numbers from other bases to base 10 using the power expansion method. And we have also looked at how to convert decimal fractions from base 10 to other bases. But in this video, we'll be looking at how to convert fractions from other bases to base 10. And we'll be looking at two different categories of numbers. We look at numbers with the whole number part greater than zero. And we look at numbers with the whole number part equal to zero. To convert numbers from other bases to base 10, you multiply each of your digits by its corresponding place value. I will note that the place value of any number base is its increasing power of that number base. If you are talking about base 5, place value of place 5 is 5 raised to power 0, 5 raised to power 1, 5 raised to the power 2, 5 raised to power 3, 5 raised to power 4. Your place value has its power increasing to the left hand side. This kind of place values applies to number that doesn't have decimal points. Numbers that are at the back of a decimal point, just like we have points 2, 1, 4 here, their place values are, for example, in base 5, you have 5 raised to the power of minus 1, 5 to the power of minus 2, 5 to the power of minus 3, 5 to the power of minus 4. If we are talking about base 2, the place value is going to be 2 raised to the power of 0, 2 raised to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 raised to the power of 3, 2 raised to the power of 4. For numbers that are at the back of your decimal point, you have 2 raised to the power of minus 1, 2 to the power of minus 2, 2 to the power of minus 3, and 2 to the power of minus 4. Let's go to examples. We want to convert 1100.214 from base 5 to a number in base 10. So we multiply each of our digits by its corresponding place value. And since we are dealing with base 5 here, it means the place value is. 5 to the power of 0, 5 to the power of 1, 5 to the power of 2, 5 to the power of 3. For numbers at the back of a decimal point, you have 5 to the power of minus 1, to the power of minus 2, to the power of minus 3. Now we multiply each of our digits by its corresponding place value and find the sum of our products. Therefore, we have 1 times 5 raised to the power of 3 plus 1 times 5 raised to the power of 2 plus 0 times 5 raised to the power of 1 plus 0 times 5 raised to the power of 0 plus 2 times 5 to the power of minus 1 1 times 5 to the power of minus 2 4 times 5 to the power of minus 3. 1 times 5 to the power of 3 is going to give us 125. This is going to, 5 squared is going to give us 25. 0 multiplied by any number will result to 0. 0 multiplied by any number will result to 0. From your indices, 5 raised to the power of minus 1 is going to give you 1 over 5. 5 raised to the power of minus 2 will give you 1 over 25. 5 raised to the power of minus 3 is going to give you 1 over 125. This is going to give you 125. 
This is going to give you 25. This is 0. This is 0. This is 2 over 5. This is 1 over 25. This is 4 over 125. This is going to give us 150. To save our time, let's convert these numbers to decimal numbers. 2 over 5 will give us 0 0.4. 1 over 25 will give us 0 0.04. 4 over 125 will give us 0 0.032. And our final answer will be 150.472. Therefore, our 1100. Zero point two one four in base five is equal to one fifty point four seven two in base ten. If you if you learn anything from this video, please give this video a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button to see more of our videos as they are coming out. In our second example, we want to convert 0 0.32311 from base 5 to base 10. As we know earlier, 32 one, one. We multiply each of our digits with its corresponding place value. And since we are dealing with base 5, that means we have 5 to the power of minus 1, 5 to the power of minus 2, to the power of minus 3, to the power of minus 4, to the power of minus 5. That means we have 3 times 5 is the power of minus 1 plus 2 times 5 to the power of minus 2 3 times 5 to the power of minus 3 plus 1 times 5 to the power of minus 4 plus 1 times 5 to the power of minus 5 5 is to the power of 1 Minus 1 is 1 over 5. As from indices, 5 is the power of minus 2 will give us 1 over 5 squared. 3 multiplied 5 is power minus 3 will give you 1 over 5 cube. 1 times 5 is power minus 4 will give you 1 over 5 is the power of 4. And this is power of 5. This will be 3 over 5. Two over 5 squared is 25. 5 cube is 825. 5 is the power of 4, 625. 5 raised to the power of 5, 3,125. If you want to leave your answers in maybe proper or improper fraction, you just find yourself like this. But to get our answers in decimal form, we convert these numbers to decimal fractions. That means we have 0 0.6 here. We have 0 0.08 here. We have 0 0.024 here. We have 0 0.0016 here. We have 0 0.00032 here. If you find the sum of these decimal numbers, 
we are going to arrive at 0 0.70592 therefore our 0 0.32311 will be 5 is equal to 0 0.70592 in base 10. Now to this addition of do it yourself, convert 120.321 in base 4 to a number in base 10 and you also convert 0 0.5504 from base 7 to a number in base 10. The links to other videos that I mentioned in this video, they are provided in the description below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. Let's go to this channel so that we can reach more viewers. See you in our next video.